Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah To episode number two of can I drop 20 pounds in six days just like the BMF Jorge Masvidal now I'm in the changing rooms you might have seen in the first clip we're outside of snap fitness here in New Brighton this is going to be my local gym this is going to be my local uh, scales and this is going to be where we weigh in on a daily basis for the next six days the time is 7 52 a.m. on November the 4th and I'm about to weigh myself for the first time in nearly two weeks. I competed in a bodybuilding show um, a week and a half ago. Since then, I have binged every single day on whatever I want. A lot of carbohydrates, not so much protein. So I find myself here and uh, I'm going to weigh myself for the first time in, in a week and a half. This is going to be day number one. This is going to be my first, I guess, check-in. Uh, with you guys and from here I'm going to try and drop 20 pounds in six days it's possible it's definitely possible with the way that my body is right now because I've, I've completely filled my body up to the brim with carbohydrates which is then going to fill my body up with water weight okay there's been loads of salt loads of sugar loads of water loads of fucking shit to be fair so my body needs this and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to make another YouTube series, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm a huge UFC fan, absolutely fucking massive. You know, and my fandom is just growing. I watch most UFC cards, even fight nights, um, and uh, you know, I, I've, I've got a huge interest in it. So when I when I saw that Jorge Masvidal dropped 20 pounds in six days, I knew in my head with my experience, having cut a lot of times before, I knew that depending on what position his body's in, that's definitely possible. You know, he's got he's probably got at least five kgs of fat that he, he could lose in that time. Well, maybe about four. And the rest would be water manipulation. So that's, that's how I'm going to go for it. That's how I'm going to do it. Um, the first four days are going to be all about, you know, fat loss, if I can lose any fat, as well as losing all of the glycogen in my body whilst keeping my water intake high and then in the last two days I'm going to drop the water considerably but not fully and we're going to really shoot for that that weigh in so it's going to be interesting I'm, I'm excited I really am I'm, I'm fucking I'm excited to get my body back in shape I'm excited to, to start doing cardio again my body feels heavy my legs feel heavy right now I feel like a fucking ugh, just shit so I'm hoping in six days I'm going to feel a whole lot lighter, I'm going to feel like a brand new person. <laughs> That's the plan. So the first thing we need to do, I'm fully clothed. We're going to take a weigh-in with my clothes on, I'm going to take my clothes off, we're going to take another weigh-in. And then we're going to get into the first workout of the week. So, let's go. I've stolen the scales. Um, this is me. This is uh, moi. I'm looking rather large, <laughs> feeling rather large, but let's get the first weigh in, man. Um, like I said, I, I weighed 88 kilograms uh, a week and a half ago, so let's see what it's, what it's at. I, I'm probably going to cry, I may cry, what does this say? Oh, for fuck's sake. Zoom in. 97.3 kgs. Oh no. Oh. Wowee. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's with clothes on. Fucking hell. What am I going to be without clothes? 95? Let's see. Here I am. Everybody, for the world to see, this is me. <laughs> oh, where did my abs go? Well, they're still there, actually. You see, this is the point, man. If I had have pushed this finish for any longer, this would have completely and utterly 
blown out. And I just cannot let that happen. So that's why this video series is being made. Okay, no clothes. This is how the body's looking. And we're gonna take our first weigh-in of the series. Now, excuse the feet. Okay, that's surprising, kind of, 96.4 kilograms, all right, that's it, now we're going to log in with my Fitbit, which I will be using the entire time, and by my watch, it's 7.58, November the 4th, 2020. And by my watch, that says um, 750, what was it? 7.58, November the 4th, 2020. <sighs> so, six days. What does that say? November the 10th. We'll call it, we'll call it 8 o'clock. All right. We're going to call it 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. 8 a.m., November the 10th. And I have to weigh, what was that, 96.4, it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds is about 9 kg, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to be down below the weight that I was a week and a half ago. How that's going to happen? A bit of discipline, a bit of hard work, and a bit of sweat. And we're going to start the sweat right now for our first workout of the fucking week. I just want to sweat. I have not fucking done any cardio in the last week and a half. I feel heavy, I feel sluggish, I feel bloated. Let's start this thing off right and sweat out a good two kilos. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go and work out. I'm going to meet you back here and we're going to get away in post-workout and that's probably going to finish us off for the second episode of the series. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Really good. Alright guys, session number one in the books. Uh, I don't know if you can don't know if you can see, but uh, I'm drenched and that's exactly what I wanted. I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, walking out of the gym and feeling the, the fresh, cool air on my sweaty face was actually an amazing feeling guys and it's one that I've missed for the last week and a half. So funnily enough, you know. Fuck, I didn't, I didn't even know if this was going to happen. I did not know if I could ever stop eating. And in fact, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop because I'm going to go home now. And, uh, you know, the cupboards are still stocked. So obviously it's going to be disciplined. But what I do want to say and what I want to mention before going is that I'm actually using this YouTube channel and this, you know, this YouTube video right now as help. You know, it's, it's, it's support for myself um, to, to begin a... a such a thing like this you know if it wasn't for the YouTube channel if it wasn't for the ability to share a message to create content I probably wouldn't do half the shit I do you know and that's not about vanity man that is just about using it as motivation <laughs> I guess you could say so uh, you know anything I do in my life that's that I'm probably struggling for motivation to start beginning a YouTube uh, beginning beginning a YouTube series like this helps me with that and you know and I'd assume it would help you guys too so if you're ever thinking about doing something if you haven't started a YouTube channel you know begin your YouTube channel with a video series tracking and documenting something that you're doing it's interesting to you it'll be interesting to other people be yourself those that will hate you will hate you those that will love you will love you and that's all I'm gonna say so with that being said guys it's day number one ah, the time is 9.17, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.